Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. May Day protests happening around the world this May 1st. In Stockton, a migrant farm worker march called for immigration reform and urging Congress to create a path to citizenship for farm workers. This is a march for our uh, labor rights, human rights, and also to demand uh, more safe, our barrios community more safe. New videos and photos tonight show Ukrainians evacuating that bomb shelter in a steel plant in Mariupol. People say they have been staying there for several weeks. Some too afraid to even breathe some fresh air outside because bullets kept flying near the exit of the shelter. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and a congressional delegation made an unannounced visit to Ukraine this weekend. Pelosi pledged more U.S. aid is on the way. Do not be bullied by bullies. If they're making threats, you cannot back down. A nationwide manhunt is underway for an inmate accused of capital murder of a female corrections officer. An Alabama murder suspect vanished along with the officer. She was escorting the inmate to court before going to see her doctor. The so-called pilot of this pedal-powered pub now cited for alleged DUI after the pub tipped over and hurt 15 people. The crash happened last night in Atlanta while the pub was making a turn. Amber Heard expected to testify tomorrow in the Johnny Depp defamation trial. Depp filed a defamation suit against her for $50 million. Heard has accused Depp of repeatedly assaulting her throughout their relationship. President Biden paying his respects to Walter Mondale today. The memorial service was delayed for a year because of the pandemic. Mondale is credited with transforming the office of the vice presidency. The White House Correspondents' Dinner returned this weekend after a two-year hiatus. 2,600 journalists, politicians, and celebrities coming together. It is my great honor to be speaking tonight at the nation's most distinguished super spreader event. The FDA could authorize a vaccine for children under six. An advisory panel is now planning to meet on June 8th, 21st, and 22nd with authorization of Moderna's shot expected in June. And the Gilroy Garlic Festival is coming back. A new group announced they will host the festival this year. No date has been announced, but the group says it will release more details soon. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.